What's up, hard workers? It's your boy Frankie Hard Work, and I'm super duper back with another one, y'all. Real quick, y'all, real quick. I'm going to need y'all to do me a quick favor, right? I'm going to need y'all to hit that subscribe button. And after y'all hit that subscribe button, I'm going to need y'all to hit that bell button so you get all my dopifications like the one I'm about to drop right now. Say it ain't so, man. Say it ain't so. Choyav is, is yo, Choyav is putting his foot on Mano neck. So Choyav just dropped the video. About a few minutes ago, I had to check on it and check it out, man. And I'm going to show y'all some clips in this video. You know, I'm not going to actually play it. But as you can see right here in this video, he went harder than the fact that Mano only wore that chain one time, allegedly. So he's claiming that Mano had that chain on at least 20 times. And the video that I'm showing you right here is showing Mano in his eyes, basically saying that, Mano been wearing the chain too without the um, Jesus piece though. He been wearing it a lot without the Jesus piece. And he also been passing it around the click. You know what's so crazy? You know what's so crazy? Shout out to um, Gully TV. Shout out to Gully TV. Because you can obviously see that in that video. Gully TV definitely had an influence on that video. Shout out to him. But he damn sure did say that, tour gonna, that, that chain definitely going to go on the tour. It never get thrown in the garbage. It always get passed around. Yeah. Yeah. Troy Ave is definitely not letting up on Mano right now. He And Mano, real talk, Mano shouldn't have never made that video. Like, if I was Mano, man, I would have told him, like, nah, don't don't, don't make that video. Because when he would have told me the story, like, yo, yo, I got this dude changed from that night still. In my head, I would have been thinking, like, damn, why the, well, I would have asked him. That's my man. I would have like, why the hell you still got his chain? Or nine times out of ten, the dude probably know who knows. But at the same time, like, Mano should have left it alone because, as you can see, Troy Ave, he's definitely mastering, he mastered the internet, yo. I can remember it was a time that he used to really get upset with these people and really go hard back and forth with people in comments and things of that nature. Nah, he definitely mastered it, and Mano need to fall back. And speaking of Mano... Mano and WAC 100, man, they're going back and forth at it, man. They're going back and forth at it. Look, I'm about to read this to y'all real quick, y'all, because it's a it's him going back and forth with Mano, Mano and WAC 100, and then I'm going to come right back with my commentary. Damn, at Mano Hustle Hard. Pretty strong, respectful words at the start after the situation. Seems like if you would have picked up at Troy Ave Chain, that obviously had no issues with according to your post. The honorable thing to do is to return it that night or the, uh, the night of the following day. But you held it for seven years. Kind of weird, but hashtag clout is the new cocaine. And Mano Hustle Hard responded. At WAC 100, mind your effing business, you D-eater, maggot. F is you speaking on me for kitty cat. <laughs> Wack 100 responded at Fox Soul. I hear you run an unbiased, respectful network. At Mano doesn't seem to know this. We respect all LGBTQIA. They didn't deserve this. Oh, that was grimy. That was grimy. Hey, yo, Wack 100 dirty, yo. Yo, Wack 100, dirty. Yo, he really started with, <laughs> yeah, he he dirty. He really started with Mano, pretty much at at Mano. And then when Mano came back crazy, talking crazy, he was talking very disrespectful. Those is, those fighting words right there. Like, when a man bring up, like, any dude that bring up a penis while he's referring back to you, yeah, that's that's fighting words. I don't care how you, how you slice it, you feel me? But... Wack 100 proceeded to really at Fox Soul. And I know y'all thinking like, well, why he at, what does that mean? He at Fox Soul. Mano Kitchen um, Kitchen Talk, his show, he just got a deal with Fox Soul. Like, he just got the deal within the last week or two, if I'm not mistaken. And he just announced it. So his show, Kitchen Talk, is just not on YouTube. It's on Fox Soul. But Wack 100... Did something dirty like that was that's 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 snitching that's snitching right there, bro. If, if if we can't call nothing else snitching, that's snitching right there. That was dirty right there. I ain't gonna even hold you. Real talk, that was dirty. 
And honestly, I think it's going to go harder than that. Because, man, oh, he a high head now. Let, let's, let's not forget all of this. You know, I, I see all the comments and people talking crazy or whatever. But, you know, man, oh, a high head. So I can see him, you know what I'm saying, if something was, if he was to lose his situation. I can see him trying to go at whack 100. But, um, yeah, man, this, 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 uh, Troy Ave and Wack 100, I mean, this Troy Ave and, uh, Mano thing, yeah. Troy Ave kind of going at him real hard, man. But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about both of the incidents, man. You think Wack 100 was dirty? How y'all feel about Troy Ave? You think Troy Ave doing too much or you think he doing just enough or not enough? Let your boy know in the comments. Your boy Frankie Hard Work. Easy.